On June 27th, 2022, there was an update that reset all of the maps except for Silver Ridge Peaks. Today we are here in Medved Taiga and we're gonna be checking out all of the new hotspots and they have definitely changed all of the new zone times and everything you need to know to hunt every species here in Medved. Okay, let's have a look at the best loadout for Medved Taiga. So I carry with me the 300, the FL Sporter 303, but any 48 rifle will do. And I do have with me the Zarza 223. I carry all my ammo with me. I do have the Argus and the Hyperion. Then I have the Antler Rattler, the Moose Collar, the Predator Distress Fawn Collar, the Predator Jackrabbit Collar, and the Wild Boar Collar. I also have with me the Apex View and the Gen Zero Nighttime Binoculars. And that is my best loadout for Medved. Now the first species we're gonna have a look at and probably the most popular to hunt in Medved are reindeer. And we have a beauty over here. Look at this guy, love this rack. Now reindeer go to five medium. They can make diamond at level four or five, but getting them to make diamond at level five is a feat in itself. Reindeer are terrible for trolling. After Medved was reset, guys, the very first hunt I came out here, I found four or five medium reindeer and they were all trolls. Can you believe that? Kind of insane. Now reindeer are a class six species, so you can use any four to eight rifle. I like to use the 303 or the 308, but any four to eight will do. Now there is only one collar for reindeer and that is the antler rattler. Here it is here. Let's see if we can get them to turn around. Now max weight for reindeer is 182 kilograms or 401 pounds and their drink time is now from four till eight or 830. They just have the one drink time. Oh, look at that rock. That is beautiful. And we got them. Beautiful. Now, reindeer zones have definitely changed with the update that reset Medved back in June. So when you look at the map, they never used to be up here on the ice, but all, just about all of these zones are reindeer drink zones. They are loaded and they are all along the ice now. There are so many reindeer on this map. It's crazy, but that is a really beautiful rock. Love the split tines off the back. And he is a pretty nice one. 372.95 is a really beautiful reindeer. So diamond for reindeer is 430.23. And their common fur types include light brown, dark brown, tan, and brown. And they have three different rare fur variants, all which are very rare. And those include leucistic, piebald, and albino. And you don't see them very often. So this is where we are on the map. So this is where you will find reindeer drinking since the update and they have changed quite a bit. You're gonna find them basically on the top half of the map. The ice is loaded with them and the big lake is still a hot spot for reindeer. Piles of zones on the big lake. The next species we're gonna have a look at are Siberian musk deer and they have changed a lot since the update. They are way easier to hunt and there are just so many musk deer on this map. Now, if you start right where I am here, you will find just a load of drink zones for musk deer all along this little riverway here, just loaded here. Now, mainly we are gonna find them now in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. They are no longer up here on the ice at all. They start right here and go all the way down and then you'll find them in a lot of little lakes down here but I will share a hotspot map with you in just a second. So Siberian musk deer go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three but most of the time you are looking for a level three. Their max weight is 17 kilograms or 37 pounds and they now drink from eight until 12 or 12.30 here in Medved. Now let's take this one here. There is no collar for musk deer, but there is musk deer scent. So if you are gonna use the scent, right now actually, I don't have it on me, but this is perfect conditions for using the scent because I have a bad wind. That is when you wanna use the scent because that wind is gonna carry the scent to the musk deer and it definitely does work. It just takes a little longer than having a collar. Now they are only a class two species. They are very tiny. So I am using the Zarza 223. You can also use the 223, the 243. The Arquomo 243 handgun will work. Now I don't have a great angle here. You know what? Now there are actually a bunch in here. Look at all of them. They're hard to see because of the brush, but there is a pile of them in here. Oh, there's one. Let's take that guy. Try and take a couple, and I think that was good. So there we have a level two Siberian musk deer. So diamond for musk deer is 249.0. They have 
three different common fur types, including gray brown, dark brown, and orange. And they have three different rare variations. They have piebald, which is rare, with about a 1% spawn rate. And then we do have albino and melanistic, which are both very rare, with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. So look out here, guys. Look at all the musk deer. And another level two. Sweet. So this is where you will now find musk deer drinking since the update. They're basically in the bottom left hand corner of the map with a few zones in the right hand side. But I have put stars on the best locations and the ravine in the middle of the map is just insane. There are so many musk deer drink zones in that area. So definitely check there. The next species we're going to have a look at are moose and Medved is the very best moose map in Call of the Wild in my opinion. There are so many moose on this map. I'm actually doing a moose grind right now and I am absolutely loving it. Now there will be a level 5 coming in over here. I am stacking diamonds and right now I actually have 9 5 medium moose on the map. Pretty crazy, right? So moose go to 5 medium. They can make diamonds at level 4 and level 5. But generally speaking, it is a five that you are looking for when you are looking for a diamond. So they are a class eight species, so you can use any four to eight rifle and any seven to nine. I like to use the 300. If you are using a four to eight rifle, you're definitely gonna be doing a lot of tracking because moose are very big and very hardy. You can also use the 338, but I do prefer to have a follow-up shot. Now there is one collar for moose, and that is the moose collar. And their max weight track is 620 kilograms or 1,367 pounds. Their drink time is from 12 until 1630, and that is moose drink time on every map that has moose in Call of the Wild. Now, this is one of my best zones. Look at all the moose here. Now, we do also have moose scent, but the collar is going to be the most effective way to call in moose. And we definitely got him there. So there is a big old, I'm gonna say he is a diamond. I couldn't imagine that guy being a troll, but that is what a five medium moose looks like. And isn't he gorgeous? That's the one thing I love about moose. They have absolutely stunning, huge racks when you do find a diamond. They are pretty awe-inspiring. Now, one hot spot for moose would be this piece of water right here. I actually have 27 drink zones for moose. Every single zone here is a drink zone for moose. We also do have a lot of Siberian musk deer, but those are the two species that inhabit this piece of water here, and that is one of the best hot spots for moose on the map. My second favorite spot is the big lake. You're gonna find just a pile of zones on the big lake for moose, and a lot of them have nice big herds of moose. All right, so there he is. So diamond for moose is 274.99, and their common fur types include light brown, dark brown, brown and tan and they have three different rare fur variants including piebald which is rare and albino and melanistic both which are very rare with a less than 0.1 percent spawn rate so not easy to find an albino or a melanistic or to spawn them man i've been trying it has not happened yet but man are the diamonds ever beautiful now moose are pretty much on every water source except for the ice on the top right. They are absolutely everywhere on the map and there are close to 100 drink zones for moose. The next species we're going to have a look at are brown bears. Now brown bears drink from 20 until 0 or 0.30. That is the universal drink time for all bears in Call of the Wild. So they do drink exclusively in the dark. Now we are out here on the ice and this is a pretty nice zone. Generally we don't find four bears in a zone but anytime you do I would call that a very sweet zone. Now they do go to nine legendary. They do need to be a nine to make diamond. I have never seen a mythical diamond brown bear ever, but it is supposed to be possible. I have just never, ever seen it from anyone. So very, very unlikely. Their max weight track is 482 kilograms or 1,063 pounds, and they are a class seven species. So I like to use the 300 when I'm hunting brown bears. You can use the 338. You can actually use any four to eight rifle because they are right in the middle being a class seven. So you are also fine to use the M1, 30 odd 6, the 303, all those 4 to 8s, but the 300 is going to do the best job in my opinion. Now let's take this 6 down. 
All right, we have some hunting pressure. So there is one collar for brown bears and that is the predator distressed fawn collar. Now, I just actually ran all the ice here. I did find a couple of brown bear zones over here, but then there was nothing all the way around here till I get to this area and then we have some condensed zones in here. So you'll find them up here on the ice, but not consistently. All right, how you doing my dude? Don't they look awesome? They really do, they look amazing. There we go, that is the six with the 300, 218 meter shot. So this guy is a light brown, which is one of the common fur types. The other commons include cinnamon and red brown. Then we have four different uncommon fur types, including gold, blonde, spirit and gray, and dark brown. Then as far as rares go, we have melanistic, which is considered to be rare, and albino, which is considered to be very rare. And I've actually never seen an albino in the game except for in the missions. Now there is a diamond albino brown bear in the missions, guys. It is part of the main missions, the 31st mission. So that is definitely worth doing. So this is where we are on the ice. Brown bear are another species that drink pretty much on every piece of water on the map. They're definitely up on the ice, but the ravine is another hot spot for brown bears. And the red circles are secret hidden lakes, guys. You won't actually see a lake there. Okay, we have a lynx right in front of us, guys. The next species we're gonna have a look at are Eurasian lynx. Now, lynx lost their drink time. They no longer drink at all. So now we have to hunt them in their feed and rest zones. So they are, oh, there he is. They're a lot tougher. So this is the Zarza 223. How you doing, my dude? How about you come up here? No, don't disappear. <laughs> So the collar I'm using here is the Predator Jackrabbit collar. That is the only collar for Eurasian Lynx. And splat! That was a beautiful shot and down he goes. So Lynx are actually a class three species. So the best weapons to use include the 223, the Zarza 223, the 243. You can now use the Arc Womo 243 handgun and you can use the Solikin on Lynx. I much prefer the Zarza 223 and that was a hard shot, I thought so. 18 meter shot. So this guy is a light brown when we're talking about their common and rare fur variants. Their commons include gray and light brown. Those are the only two common fur types. Then for rares, we have piebald, which is rare, and albino and melanistic, both which are very rare with a less than 0.1% spawn rate. Now diamond for Eurasian Lynx is 27.68. I believe it changed by just a very small fraction a couple updates ago, but that is what you're looking for when you are looking for a diamond Lynx, which is a very tough diamond by the way, guys. Now Lynx go to nine legendary. I have never seen an ape make it ever, ever, ever. And this is where we are. We're in, can I even say that? Zuralova Hill? Am I saying that right, guys? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, they are so much harder to hunt now that we don't have drink zones for Lynx. I am gonna share a hotspot map showing you where the zones are that I have found. But basically to find their zones, you have to run around and pick up their tracks. This is the best way to find them and follow those tracks. They're gonna lead to either a feed or a rest zone or both. But in my opinion, that is the best way to find their zones, tracking. Now, by showing you where I am finding zones, that's definitely gonna narrow down the search for you guys. At least that is my hope. We should definitely have very similar zones. So their max weight track is 45 kilograms or 99 pounds. Now all the zones that I found for rest zones were from 8 until 12 or 12.30. I believe there are more than just the one rest time, but that is nice and in broad daylight. Now as far as feed zone times, this is my favorite one, 4.30 to 8. I'm finding most of my feed zones in this time and no drink time, that's it. And when you are discovering a feed zone for Lynx, this is what you're gonna find. There we go, another 4 to 8.30 zone. So that is what the need zone indicators look like for Eurasian Lynx. And what I did here was I picked up a track and I actually tracked it backwards. I figured that I might be spooking it out of a feed zone. I did see the Lynx running and immediately we found our feed zone. So that is what you're looking for. So I did spend quite a lot of time looking for Lynx zones. This is what I found. I'm sure there are way more than what I found on the map, but that should give you some spots to start hunting for them. They're a lot tougher now that they don't drink anymore. 
The last species we're gonna have a look at for today's guide is wild boar. Now, wild boar drink exclusively in the dark. Their drink time is from zero until three or 3.30. And a really great hotspot for them is along the ice all along this right-hand side. Okay, so we have one zone here and there's another one. So wild boar go to five medium. I would imagine they could make diamond at level four and level five, although I don't think I've ever seen a level four diamond wild boar, but if you could, if you guys have ever shot one, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. So they are a class four species, so you can use any four to eight rifle. I am using the 303 right now. And we got them, beauty. Now that other zone should not have spooked and they did not. So let's take another one down. And down he goes, beautiful. So max weight for wild boar is 240 kilograms or 529 pounds. And their collar is the wild boar collar. This is it here. Little bit of an irritating sound, but it is definitely very effective. And we also do have wild boar scent. Alrighty, and there he is. So diamond for wild boar is 144.25 and their common fur types include light brown like we have here, dark brown and brown. As far as rare fur types go, we have black gold, which is considered to be rare. And then we do have albino and melanistic, both considered to be very rare. This is where I found drink zones for wild boar. The big lake is a hot spot as well as the center of the ravine and the bottom left hand corner of the map. Lots of boar drinking in Medved. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. A lot of time and effort go into these super guides, so I hope you guys did enjoy. And one more piggy. Click here for the next super guide playlist. We're working on every map in the game and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.